Hey, beautiful minds. I'm Orion. Out here in MacArthur. Little update. Last night I got a new camera. Pretty badass, but uh, I have to get a new computer too to uh, edit and upload on. So I'll be back on my phone again. Anyways, I got a nice little spot in the sunshine sitting here. So, honey badger mentality. When it comes to courage, an animal that usually comes to mind is the lion. The lion is king of the jungle, thanks to its size and pack mentality. This is an interesting way to picture courage, as they have a lot of good foundations we can learn from, such as, you know, family values and the ability to take down animals larger than itself. But many of us don't have these foundations, such as a good family or pack, and we don't have the appetite to take down these larger-than-life beasts. So, we fall into and develop the antelope mentality, which makes us common prey, and you don't want to be common prey. So, antelope are simple-minded grass eaters who stick, oh, mosquito, they stick with other simple-minded grass eaters. You know, antelope mentality produces a lot of anxiety, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, they're startled, you know, they get startled by anything. It's a survival instinct because they're always being hunted by most pre predators. And this is why they're in a herd, you know. This protects the majority of their population, but a pack of lions will single out an antelope, and then the antelope becomes food. You know, however beautiful and essential to life antelope are, we don't want to be simple-minded grass eaters. This makes us fearful and vulnerable to our own lives. I understand eating grass is easy. You know, it's right there. It's in front of you. You know, it's you've been doing it your whole life, but you don't want to live your whole life grazing through the same meadow until you die, usually by getting eaten by a lion. But, you know... Oh, did I skip the page? But, uh... Not all of us fall into or develop the category of lions, you know? Our family or pack dynamics aren't supportive enough. Many do need a solid pack to take down these big beasts. So, an optimal category for you to develop, possibly, is the badger mentality. The badger is a badass, you know? Pure awesome. They, uh, they truly thrive, thrive in their environment, despite their size. They got big attitude, man. Big. And, like, there are multiple badger species across the world, whether it's the hot badger, the Asian badger, the European badger, the American badger, but who can forget the honey badger? You know? <laughs> Most of us badgers can just be a general mentality. Eating small mammals, eggs, and fruits. This is a good start, you know, because it, it's how you develop taste, you know? It's good to explore, and it's good to have you know, taste, basically. But if you want to be the optimal badger, have the honey badger mentality. The honey badger truly doesn't give a shit. I know you guys are waiting for that one, I bet. And the honey badger is a great example of courage, you know. The name really does come from the fact that they hunt down beehives and mow down on this tasty honey despite the constant bombardment of bee stings. And they take it a step further. You know, like, when they have this mental, when you have this mentality, you're an opportunist, you know, you, you don't waste things, you know, you know, the opportunist nature and boldness is evident in their ability to fight off venom. They eat venomous snakes and build immunity. We don't have to identify with these animals, but use them as examples in nature, because animals... They're, they're pretty well permanent until, you know, their great-great descendants evolve to adapt. Whereas, we are already highly adaptable. So, antelope mentality alludes to the general population. And, you know, the fact is that we'll consume whatever is easy. You know, we're simple-minded consumers. So, what is easy that we eat up? Well, like, junk food. You know, television programming. And it goes further with the internet. I mean, obviously ads, but like silly fail videos and memes and popular music. doesn't matter. You listen to country, rock, or pop, or rap. It's popular, you know? 
It's called pop music. I don't care if you listen to rock. It's pop. But it's easy listening. Like, I'm not telling you to stop listening. It's just easy listening. And the, uh, the antelope mentality has us fear anything that is unlike to them. It, and whatever threatens their boring way of being. But even the antelope consume to serve a purpose. You know, they are prey for the predators, whereas humans' only enemy is their self and their own mind. How do we develop a lion or a better a badger mentality? Well, if you want to be lion-like, find your pack, you know? Your pack will help you take down this fearful, mindless consumerism. And they do need a population check, absolutely. I mean, metaphorically, but still. And if you want to take it further and be a badass honey badger, go find that mean old snake. He'll bite you, and then you'll overcome the fear of the venom. And then your body will be immune to taking on that species. And then you can be brave enough to take on more species of different types of venomous snakes. You know? Or maybe sweetness is your style. You know? So go find that beehive and go eat that honey. Bees will sting you, absolutely. It's a part of life. You can't go your whole life being afraid of a bee sting if you've never been stung. You'll have so many bee stings, you can't even count them. So, everything's an opportunity. Don't waste it. And don't just take what's easy because it's handed right to you. That's what separates the hard workers from the lazy and the hunters from the prey. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Peace. It's kind of a short one.